What's up everybody? It's AJ with Snow Tracks TV and this right here is a new 2023 free ride with the Turbo R850. It pumps out 180 mind-blowing horsepower and yes it's as good as it sounds and yes it's better than the 165 and yes it's awesome. I am super impressed by this snowmobile. The free ride obviously is kind of the more fun, more playful, bigger drops, quick dis disconnect sway bar, shorter tunnel, little snow flap, all that good stuff. What I experienced today from riding this snowmobile is that there's a whole lot of refinement in G5. G5 is not just bodywork. It's not just a 10.25 inch screen. It's not just new geometry in the rear suspension. It's all of these things. It's a new for, uh, fourth motor mount. It's lower noise vibration and harshness, which I got to tell you, I'm probably getting old because noise vibration and harshness is important to me, but it will be to you too. Possibly something that if you're a new G5 rider, you will never realize until you get on somebody else's snowmobile and you'll go, wow, I really like how smooth, quiet, and just overall refined my Skidoo G5 is. You're going to say, oh, you're just, you know, you just love Skidoo just because of this, because of that. No, I love this Skidoo snowmobile because it's freaking good. They have done a great job on this thing. I rode it all day today, and at the end of the day, when I was riding other brand snowmobiles also during the day, I kept going back to this thing. I kept wanting to get on it because I said, hey, it side hills better. You know, the 36 inch narrow front end, the new ski on it, the new uh, three position adjustable shocks, which by the way, three position adjustable shocks, yes, people will say, oh, well, they've had those out for a while with other brands. True, they have. But KYB and Skidoo got together and they did something different. Your typical three position adjustable shocks will only do one compression setting when you adjust that three position clicker. It's typically your uh, low speed compression is what you're getting out of that. High speed compression is usually not included. When it comes to the KYB shocks, they are adjusting low and high speed during that wide ratio at the same time. So say you've got 22 clicks of adjustment on a typical KYB shock. Now they've turned that into three. Low is over here on the low end, medium's in the middle, and high and firm is on the far right hand side, which is for those big drops, big jumps, all that fun you're doing. They put those three position clicker shocks out back as well. So it's really easy to adjust now. No tools, no thinking, you know, just grab it, make sure if it's on the left, it's soft. If it's on the right, it's firm. And if it's in the middle, it's medium. It's easy to do. It makes it nicer out on the hill for you. And truth be told, a lot of people get themselves confused when they're adjusting individual clicker settings, especially when it's high speed, low speed and rebound. That's a lot of settings for you to worry about. And if you don't get them right, your snowmobile may not handle the way that you want it to. And if you get them really wrong, it definitely won't handle the way that you want it to. So this is something that I find really important. Obviously the body work on this sled is super cool. They've done a great job with it. They've narrowed it up. It is, in my opinion, from what I've seen by looking at every other brand, it's the narrowest sled out there besides maybe the Arctic Cat Blast, but that's in a different category. This thing is narrow. And how they did that is by integrating some parts all into one, just taking a bunch of ideas and saying, hey, why can't we make that just one individual part? Namely being this side right here over the clutches, which in my opinion is the coolest clutch cover ever built for a snowmobile. This is not just a clutch cover, it's a clutch cover, it's a belt guard, and it's also much like the CVT system on a side-by-side -side or an ATV. It's got a backer plate, it has the front piece, and it's closed off, which means that the fins on the secondary are pumping air in and out of a dedicated intake and exhaust. What does that do for you, the rider? It gives you ultimate confidence in knowing that that belt is gonna be as flipping cold as it possibly can be because it's pumping dedicated air in and out. It's not just swirling around under the hood and doing its thing. It's actually just like an ATV or a side-by-side. -side. That to me is innovation. I mean, that, that's an awesome idea. Plus it fits like spandex on the snowmobile. It's, I mean, it is, it is very closely fit to those clutches. Everything is really integrated well. The overall whole bodywork system on this thing, the hood mainly, Previously, it took quite a few fasteners and, and a few different tools to get it off. Now you only need to do, I believe it's four fasteners total to get the whole hood off. There's a couple of electrical connectors, but everybody has that, so that's not a problem. And the tool is included in the snowmobile, so it's on it already. So you can still get the hood off trail side, and that's really important to me. Sure, maybe I'd like to see some quick fasteners there so you can get it off without any tools, but Skidoo has dramatically improved the accessibility to the engine by making it just one single tool and only four fasteners. 
hours. Some of the other really interesting features that Skidoo's upgraded, obviously the LED headlights, which we've been asking for for quite some time, and they did a good job with that. These ones now run very similar to a motorcycle where on low beam you get one side, on high beam you get both. They're so much brighter than their previous versions. Like, it's not even worth comparing them because there is no comparison. Other cool features, the 10.25 inch gauge. It is really functional, it works great, it's waterproof, it's touchscreen, it's fast, it connects to your phone quickly, it does everything you ask it to do. But if you don't want that screen, you don't have to have it because it's an option on all G5s. It's not included on any of them. Even the most premium high-end models don't come standard with it. So if you're one of those people who say, I have no use for technology when I'm out on the trail, or when you're out on the mountain, you don't need it. So that's great. Um, <clears throat> the other cool stuff, shorty brake lever. It's fully adjustable. That's kind of coming across from the motocross side. I really appreciate that. That's something that works well, functions well, and it just puts the brake lever right where you want it, which is, I don't know, it's, it seems so common sense, but we haven't had it till now. Now, if we're moving to the back of the snowmobile and going further back on it, Skidoo's really spent a lot of time on the rear suspension, the rear drive line, that whole system. So why don't I take you to the back of the sled and we'll show you that. So let's start from the front and we'll work backwards. One of the coolest things is now the drive shaft is actually removable from the lower portion of the chain case without splitting the chain case, which means no oil on the ground, no oil cleanup, no oil changes. If you wanna change your track, you only have to pull it out from one side. It's the smartest system going. It's got a male female uh, fitting on that lower gear and you don't have to split your chain case. That is like, that's like music to my ears. Moving from there back, <clears throat> the, the front torque arm on the rear suspension has completely changed geometry. It's got a lot longer, it's more raked out, it's, it's, it's in a different position. And what that's done is it's given this snowmobile a much more compliant ride out on the trail. I am blown away how good this thing rides when you're coming down at the end of the day and you're running through those moguls and those whoops. It's really flipping smooth. And in my opinion, the previous T-Motions, they, they weren't as smooth as this. This has changed dramatically. Come back even further and you've got the Kayaba three position uh, shocks on both the front and rear arm. So you've got easy adjustment. Now, when we're talking about some other things on the, the rear suspension, uh, namely the rear uh, mounts, the rear mounts are no longer uh, hard to get in. They're, this is the, the simplest rear suspension mount to get on. It's a post that sticks out. The, this rear link right here has a tab on it and it just slots right down in to the rear mount. So when you're putting your skid frame back in, it's super easy to line up. These are things that you may never have to deal with, but if you do mess around with your rear suspension and have it out of your sled, you're gonna super appreciate this. <clears throat> Let's move on to the track. Well, I guess the track and the rear skid. They've dropped three pounds in the rear end of this snowmobile. You're gonna say three pounds isn't that much, but when you think about the fact that they have now taken this track to full width, that's really important. And what do, I, what do I mean by that? Well, the lugs on this track used to kind of sit in about, I would say a, a quarter to a half of an inch on both sides, which means that you weren't getting that full width lug. Now they've taken that rubber, they pushed it all the way out to the outside of the track, which in my opinion would mean more weight, but somehow Skidoo made it mean less weight. So they've dropped pounds, they've increased traction, and they've done that in an amazing new T-Motion rear suspension that just works so incredibly well. Talk about running boards, the running boards are completely relieved, easy to replace, and just hold on to your boots like absolutely nothing else. They are so amazing. I've ridden all day on this snowmobile and there is no buildup whatsoever, and it was real cold, and you know how these tunnels make heat. Those should be iced up completely. They're not, there is nothing left. And I didn't have to stomp and I didn't have to kick and I didn't have to try to clean stuff off. I will say that the new 2023 Skidoo Freeride G5 Turbo is probably my favorite mountain snowmobile that I have ever ridden in my entire life. I, I actually, I don't usually come out and say that kind of stuff very often. And I was searching for reasons not to like certain parts about this sled because I thought it can't be that much better. It really is. They've done some huge things. Skidoo has stepped up their game. They've changed a lot of little things that have made an overall really big change. And I gotta take my hat off. I gotta say Skidoo, you guys knocked it out of the park. I give you all the credit in the world because this is one amazing snowmobile 
and I know that you, the viewer, are going to have a blast on this thing when you get it out on, on the mountain as well. You're, you're going to be blown away. This is a different snowmobile than the G4. So I always forget to start snowmobiles, and I did that this time too, but you got to remember, this sled comes with shot on it, which is an awesome feature. I love shot. It is the hands-down best electric start system in the world that doesn't need a battery. So let's start this thing up so you can hear what the new Turbo R 180 horse Skidoo Turbo sounds like in the G5. It's a little bit quieter because all the quiet sound deadening in the panels. It's very refined. Yeah. 